Hello everyone, and welcome back to this very, very last episode of our The Knights campaign. Uh, this is an epilogue, so it's not a, well, obviously not a normal episode. It's just an episode where we go through the, the ledger, timeline, and different map modes, and just talk about our Let's Play in general. Uh, relatively short, as usual, as per usual here. But, uh, yeah, it's all over, and, uh, oh, yeah, right, Russia formed, about time. So, regarding our little campaign, I think... I think maybe you can probably do better if you really try and beeline for Malta early on from getting friends with Aragon and such. Because getting Malta will give you a lot more access into the new world over here, which I didn't really think about back when I started for some reason. Um, but I think that's probably the better move of it. Otherwise I think the strategy is sound enough going out as the knights around here. Going and doing a no CP war on, on some of these fellas down here is also uh, viable. That's what we did at least. Just make sure that there's not too many alliances going back and forth and strike them when they're weak. Um, if you can't really get Malta or colonize Aguin or the Canaries here or whatever. They fought the Iberians. Um, the land we got here in Europe and the Middle East, I'm somewhat pleased what we got. It looks Relatively pretty, good looking borders. I would have liked a bit more of Egypt, um, maybe a bit more of the Balkans as well. But uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise I'm relatively pleased. Over here in Asia, I'm also relatively pleased of our gains. I would have liked to have expanded Order of Christ into like this area here, perhaps. And I would also have liked to have taken the last bits up here that we wanted from... Well, Moscovy back then, but Russia now. I think that would have looked better. This is mainly just uh, aesthetics, obviously. Whoops, that's not what I meant. I meant to do this. Yeah, this stuff up here. Um, it would have looked... This also looked okay. To some degree, but... Yeah, getting this would have been perfect, in my opinion. Um, yeah, let's look at... Auto map modes first, I suppose so. Imperial, well, the Empire is... Weird. <laughs> mm, tech is never really that interesting. It's this green. Culture-wise, well, of course it changed a lot to Wu here. And culture swap to them. Uh, oh, wait, what? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Shouldn't this be down here? What? How is this... The name of it, or the... It's W-U. Not U-W. What? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Whatever. I'm not sure if the AI did any code inverting. Let's check Europe. That's the place I know the best. And maybe something here. Uh, maybe a bit here with the Polish. Oh, the cultivated Slovakian culture, right. Mm. Other than that, seems relatively normal. The AI usually don't cultivate that much. To say the least. This, I don't know, just a mix of things. Oh, Sicilian. <laughs> Brazilian. Platinian. Oh, nice. I would love to do an Argentinian Let's Play as well, Rio de Prada, but they don't have any, like, specific ideas. They just have one of, well, the colonial traditions, which is a bit boring. I really wish that uh, Paradox would introduce ideas for all of them, all the colonies over here. Just some basic stuff, like Brazil. I don't think they have their own yet until they become independent, but, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, what's also somewhat interesting? Development? Hmm, well... Soda, maybe? Green-ish Europe. Not surprising. And, uh, well, yellow-greenish China. Not that surprising either. A few dots here and there. Oh, damn. 50 and 50 here in... Well, in Uskent. Damn. Not bad. Mixed bag in Africa. And uh, not that great in South America or North America. It's not their time yet. Mm, anything else? Mm, 
time it there. Is that sort of it? I think it is. Great powers. Well, it's this stuff here. One of the biggest surprises is, uh, of course, Spain inheriting France and uh, the French colonies. That's uh, certainly put Spain on the spot. But we did beat them, which is nice. But we're losing our great power status to them. This uh, military hegemon, which is annoying, but oh well. Uh, yeah, I think that's sort of the map modes, to be honest. Uh, the ledger? I did the month roll, so it should be fine. Let's see, income. We are number one, just barely, but we are number one. Max development as well. Max manpower. Oh yeah, almost a million. We have not all tech. What? Are we saying? Oh, we're lacking... Uh, oh, I was not even aware of that. Hmm. Lacking one tech. Right. Got all the ideas and a hundred power projection. Oh yeah, we will keep that for a long time. Let's see here. Next comment. Not interesting score. Mm, not first place. Ottomans. Wow. Okay. They got a lot. But we are making the most of the world. A score through the ages. Syrian discovery. <laughs> Tiny bit in reformation. In okay amount, I guess, in absolutism, but we really got the juices here flowing in uh, revolutions. Ming. Oh, damn. Right. Ottomans. France. Ottomans again. Yeah. Ottomans did really well until we started, well, picking them apart. With that little invasion from Ethiopia, from Presto John, this nation. Oh, yeah, we did the uh, link up Ethiopia down here. They must sort of like us that we did that. Yeah, sort of. Uh, religion, Catholicism, reigning supreme by a whole lot, actually. Yeah, nice. And let's see, anything else interesting? And military leaders? We should have some decent ones. Oh, yeah, 21. 6654, that's amazing. Yeah, we were blessed with good leaders, but we also sort of went for it. Okay, rulers, uh huh. Previous rulers, right, that's ours. But we are theocracy, so we have like a bunch of different ones. Yeah, let's see. Um, who was our best one? You had 14, that's pretty good. You ruled for what, 12 years? Uh, not that long, but 14, mm, 12, mm, 10, 12, 12, uh, yeah, I think, Johannes the fourth, de la Tour de Pin, du Pin, he was our best by a long shot, yeah, we're not blessed with that great leaders, I guess, but they're okay. Not interesting. Now this is sorta interesting. Well, sorta. We have, of course, the most morale. We also went for it hard. Um, I do like, I do love the the wordings of the sentence: "Wielders of the flaming sword." <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've been sneezing all day. I'm not sure if I have allergies or something. Discipline is not great. Oh damn, Saxony. Holy smokes, 129. Eh, that's okay. Oh, right, stateless society. <laughs> the anarchist in California. Uh, professionalism is okay. Tradition is really good. Well, professionalism is also really good. So army is really good. It's also really large. Not the largest. For shame. Navy. <laughs> We have a relatively large navy, though. The largest in the world. Not the most heavy, though, but... Most galleys, for sure. Army losses. Interesting where we at. Oh, 6.6. .6. Ottomans, almost 20 million. Wow. 15 of those <laughs> to attrition. Oh, yeah, we did lose a lot of attrition in this campaign. I was a bit, mm, what do you call it, careless with the armies during our wars. Just big blobbing around a lot of the time. So... Normally I tend to lose equal in battle and attrition, somewhat, but here I was not all that careful. Um, naval loss is not interesting. Nah, nah, nah. Income, well, sorta. Most taxes, most production, not most trade. 
not surprising. Gold? Oh, okay, most gold. Terrors? Eh, no. Oh, damn. Vassals? Oh, 18. Damn, are we the only one who has a vassal? Damn. Alright. <laughs> Harbor fees, blah, 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 blah. Total? Yeah, number one here in total income. Uh, mostly Catholic. We are converting the last bits, but we are, well, we have run out of time, so. And the Wu, 35%. Yuchen, Greek. We are coring, but not done yet. <coughs> Losing a lot of grain, fish, eh, livestock. That's it, the three big ones. Some naval supplies. I have a bunch of loans. Yep. Trade nodes, trade goods. Uh, well, a lot of Chinaware. Noise. We have nothing in cloves, cocoa, tobacco, coffee, ivory, or slaves. Alright, goods locations. Nah. We do have 100 mechanism, which is nice. Hmm. Great Britain is usually very high in mechanism. That's a bit odd, they're not even around here. Income. Only 39. Hmm. Odd. Mm, current wars. Brrrp. And great powers. So we are number one. Wonderful. Almost 6k development. Not bad. All right. Let's do a timeline. Let's see if I can. I will. Pr I will move uh, my s my screen over here once we have arrived over here because then nothing really happens here for a long time. Let's see. Music first.
All right, so that was uh, the timeline and a little adventure here, going from Rhodes, uh, one province minor in the Mediterranean, sailing around, conquering some land in Africa, some some outposts, heading across the Indian Ocean into well Southeast Asia, getting Taiwan as base of operations, and then launching our invasion of mainland China. Then heading back all the way through the Indian Ocean again, landing here in Ethiopia, saving Presta John's kingdom, invading the Ottomans, retaking land in the Holy Land, and regaining Jerusalem at the very end. Quite a journey, quite an adventure, and uh, quite fun, I must say. I was not really sure I would do this, or actually complete our little mission here. Um, as far as I know, I don't think anyone else has done this specific thing. I'm sure someone has conquered the world as the knights, obviously, but um, um, I'm somewhat proud of myself with this achievement. Though it's not an achievement. Though we did get one achievement I was not aware of. Uh, on the roads again. By chance, really. <laughs> it just popped up, so that's pretty good. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this Let's Play and this epilogue, this little role-playing uh, adventure, it leave a like, a comment, or subscribe, or all of them. I do very much appreciate your support. And a big extra thanks to my chill members, of course. Mike Murray, Tim Reno, Wiscomat, Jeffrey Henderson, Jonathan Crane, Contrude and Sergeant, Osimantius, and Clewis. Thanks again, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.